All right, here we go. Question number one from our college algebra homework number seven in my lab math. And they want us to solve for x. Now, the kind of equation they've given us here is an exponential equation. And over here in this window, I'm going to demonstrate two methods for solving this particular equation. We're going to cover the method of common bases. And then we're going to look at how to convert to a logarithm. All right, so first of all, I noticed that the base on the left is 5. This is 5 to the 5x minus 1. What I would like to do with the 25 is convert it to 5 to some power. And that way, the bases will be the same on both sides. This is the method of common bases. So what exponent does 5 need to become 25? Well, the answer to that is 2, because 5 squared is 25. And then here's the cool part. Once the bases match, they cancel. And that's going to just leave me with 5x plus 1. Whoops. Minus 1 equals 2. And then I've got a simple two-step equation to solve. So bringing the minus 1 over makes it positive. Gives me 5x equal to 3 and divide both sides by 5 gets my solution. x is 3 fifths. Okay, so there is the process of using the method of common bases. Okay, so let's look at the same problem but using a different technique. So this time we're going to use the technique of converting to logarithms. So we know if we have an exponential we can convert to a log. We're going to bring the base down. That's going to make it log base 5. Okay, bring the base down. Switch the other two around. So that becomes 25 equals 5x minus 1. And now the log base 525. Watch that. We can bring up our calculator and we can calculate the log base 5 of 25. And that's 2. So that says 2 equals 5x minus 1. And I don't know if you noticed, but we're at the same point that we were at right here, where we had the 5x minus 1 equals 2. I'm at the same point, 5x minus 1 equals 2. So again, we're going to finish that. Bringing the 1 over makes it positive. 2 plus 1 is 3. And divide both sides by 5. Okay, so there are two techniques that will, or that can be used to solve an exponential equation. I would like to mention, though, that the method of common bases isn't always going to work because it's not always possible to convert this number into the whatever this base is to some power it's it's not always an easy thing to do so let's check and see if we're right the answer is three-fifths and it does say a simplified fraction bam all right so there's the first problem down i hope that was helpful if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them in the comment section below or you can text me and thanks for watching